Hi, I'm John Mokadans and welcome to the Bring Me Fire website. Today I'm going to teach you um, how to do some 3D text with a free utility called Elfont. I'll give you the link later on, but let's hop right into it. This is Elfont, and let's type in a movie title. So already we're seeing something that looks pretty good. Um, Alphont will take true type fonts, it'll take other fonts as well. And how you load them in is you click the T and you can scroll down and pick out a font. And you can do a variety of different things here, but let's just go with this. This is a quality, the Q button, so it's a quality of your mesh. You want to try and keep it a decent decent quality here. Uh, and this is for extrusion, the big E. You can see that better here. Wow. And this is for individual extrusion of a letter. Um, I would stick away from this button because it can mess you up. Um, and these are your bevel types. This is why I use this program because it can give me a variety of different uh, bevels and uh, it does all the fiddly stuff for you because if you've loaded in um, just flat text into Lightwave or another 3D application put a bevel on it and extruded it you get all these crazy cross points on the edges this takes care of all the fiddly bits for you so you don't have to concern yourself with that all you have to do is make great looking text so let's uh, I like the uh, big 45 but there's all kinds of different things in here so I'll go with uh, a big 45 and say that looks good and let's uh, extrude this back a bit too much and let's save it so we will call it ring2 and we'll save it to the desktop it saves it as a Bryce DXF so you are going to need to uh, get um, your hands on a copy of Bryce so let's hop over to Bryce sometimes Daz gives it away for free you just have to check and you may even have it it's it's fairly cheap so let's uh, import the object we look on the desktop and there it is bring to and it is on its side but you can correct this by clicking the attributes button and go down here and rotate negative 90 and there you go there is your 3d text and zoom in let's do a quick test render and let's give it a metal material polished brass or bronze and there we go looks pretty good um, but I'll show you something if you go in close you'll notice something on the rounded letters and here we go it hasn't smoothed out all the polys the quality is pretty good but you could smooth the angle out a bit better so let's do that I'll show you how to do that in Bryce um, and you go under edit mesh and you bring down this to about 10% and click the smooth nothing will happen unless you click this check mark to say yeah that's okay so let's go back to our G check out the smoothing and that sharpened it right up okay so you're in Bryce you don't want to be in Bryce you want to be in your other 3d application so how do you get out of Bryce you made this great text so you go to the E button again and there's a secret export function all you have to do is click control D and it'll open up this dialog now you'll be able to export any of these formats I usually choose Wavefront OBJ because it keeps the mesh together so we'll call it bring 
to a and we'll save that off to the desktop and it is done so let's get out of here jump into lightwave file load object and go to our desktop and bring in 2a and then we can hit f2 center it and we'll hit y and we'll do 180 here and check it out so zoom in and there we have our 3d text and again you're gonna have to do some smoothing in in lightwave um, because that doesn't translate over so you go to your surface editor click the smoothing button bring it to 10 percent enter just copy that and shift and paste and there you go all your letters are nice and nice and smooth and you got some wicked 3d free free 3d text yeah the 3d i'm making a new language here anyway so my name is john mokadans and uh, i hope you come back i'll try and teach you some other more stuff if i learn to speak my native tongue and uh, you're on the bring me fire website talk to you soon